We have a structural budget problem in the state of Illinois and that that needs to be solved and the fair tax was the best solution. Governor J.B. Pritzker reacts after his signature policy reform plan was defeated by Illinois voters. It went down to defeat. I understand the other side told the lies that they told. A lot of people believed that um, and that's too bad. And now we're going to have to suffer the pain that they've brought on. The governor had sought approval for a constitutional amendment that would have allowed state lawmakers to get rid of the flat tax and implement a graduated income tax structure, creating brackets for different income levels. If approved, it would let the politicians immediately implement their plan. He spent $58 million of his own money to drum up support for what he dubbed the fair tax, but that faced fierce opposition. The state's richest man, Ken Griffin, essentially matched Pritzker's spending. These ads are lies. The governor called it a necessary structural reform to deal with the state's perennial fiscal problems. With the Pritzker administration counting on the cash, now what? Without the option of raising rates on the rich, it's likely that everyone will see a tax increase and there could be deep budget cuts on the way. Let me just say to the people of Illinois, you deserved a fairer tax system and you still do. But that didn't happen. Republicans swore their allegiance to the wealthiest interests in the state and they threw middle class families under the bus. Now, Republican state lawmakers had scheduled an afternoon news conference to respond to some of these issues. However, that news conference was canceled abruptly this afternoon. November 17th is the so-called veto session of the state legislature. That's when lawmakers take up either stalled or failed proposals and try to reassess or rework them. So lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are going to have to start thinking right now about how they're going to deal with the budget problem because the political reality is that there is not going to be help coming from Washington, D.C. anytime soon.